Today we're going to see if we can dissolve the shell off of an ostrich egg. Guys, we have a couple more ostrich eggs. In the past we made an omelet with an ostrich egg as well as we cooked it in a loaf of bread. Anyway, we made food with it and it was good tasting food, but we asked what you guys would like to see us do if we had more ostrich eggs, and we do, and you had some suggestions. So today we're trying out a couple of those. Here's the basic idea. The last time we had ostrich eggs, several of you had suggestions of what to do. So today, we're going to see if we can dissolve a shell of an ostrich egg using vinegar, and then we'll try to hard boil one to see what the texture, consistency, and taste are like. So one of the ones that I really am excited to try is putting an ostrich egg into vinegar. Now this is something that we've done with chicken eggs in the past where we dissolve the calcium carbonate on the outside of the eggshell and then it leaves the membrane so you have what's a rubber egg. So we've actually already started that process on one of the eggs. Yesterday. We don't know how long this is going to take. So we're going to give it a day and see how it looks like it's progressing. This one we're going to try hard boiling. And rather than just stick it in a pot of boiling water on the stove, we're actually going to try to sous vide cook it. Sous vide cooking is a process that carefully controls the temperature of water while things cook in them. And if you want to hard boil eggs and be extremely precise about what stage of cooking they get to, sous vide is a great way to do it as long as you have time. It's not a very quick process because the water isn't as hot. And with an egg this big, it's gonna take a lot. So our plan is actually to cook the egg sous vide overnight to try and get it cooked all the way through, but just perfectly so we don't end up with a super overcooked rubbery ostrich egg. So we are in the long-term prototyping room, which is the downstairs pantry. And I've done quite a few of these eggs in the past, so let's take a look at this. Guys, this is the strangest texture, but the egg definitely feels smoother underneath. Well, smoother and rougher. It's less pitted, but it feels like it has a slightly rougher texture, like it's starting to dissolve, and that's definitely what we have going on here. So I'm gonna try and rub off the shell that's already dissolved. And as I do so, you can see bubbles forming on this new layer. So it's ready to go. Well, an update on our ostrich egg and vinegar. So while we were trying to clean part of the outside of the egg and like switch out the vinegar. It ruptured a little. It cracked and then like it was bulging a lot. And I think that the membrane actually got slightly punctured. So I think we have some egg white down in our vinegar at this point. The eggshell itself has lost a lot of its structural integrity here. Mm -hmm. So there you go. This piece of eggshell hasn't wow. been submerged as long because the egg started floating and that part of it, I think, was sticking up out. But the rest of this shell is really not a shell anymore. Look at that. I can just... <laughs> so there's some egg. It's just sort of glopping out. What is happening? It's still holding together. That is bizarre. Ah, ha, ha. So there's like another membrane and this is actually all one blob right now it has no cohesion really like it doesn't do what a chicken egg does so dissolving the shell didn't go the same way that a chicken egg does the shell itself it didn't just disappear it actually just became soft or maybe that's not I think just that's shell part of well, a membrane it's like, the thicker part of the membrane but it, it has like the coloring and this is like thick thick and like, I just don't think we dissolved enough shell for all of it to be gone. I am going to try to cook an ostrich egg soft boiled. So we yeah. have, this is a sous vide thing, and we're just gonna put this in our pot. We're going to fill it with water and we're going to cook it at 148 degrees Fahrenheit overnight because it's an ostrich egg, it's really big and we want it to cook all the way through. So this machine will keep the water at a very precise temperature within one or two degrees for however long you need. So we'll add hot water, Turn it on, it will heat it up to just the right temperature. We'll have this lid on here to make sure not too much of it evaporates. Uh, we'll check on that to make sure you know, the water level is staying good. And that should just keep the egg at just that precise temperature. And what we're going for is- Soft boiled. Soft boiled. So cooked outside with the yolk still runny so you can like dip toast in it and stuff. Our egg has been cooking overnight in the sous vide pot at 147 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I think it's time to see how it is. The egg itself is going to be too hot for you to grab. Yes, I'm hoping that in this process I'll at least cool down the shell a little bit yeah. long enough to get over to there. Sure, also, yeah. the shell, like the egg itself, may not conduct heat as fast as water, so I may Fair. not 
burn my hands quickly. Okay. If I held on to it for a while, sure. But one thing I did want to do. Oh, I feel some wiggly movement. Oh no! Real movement Maybe happening there. Maybe an ostrich egg needs to be cooked at a higher temp. So one thing I want to try is you were spinning it, uh -huh. and a, a hard-boiled chicken egg will just spin like a top. That is not spinning. That's about. Maybe a little better. Little. It could just be because it's more gelatinous. It's true. It could just be the texture of Here's ostrich eggs. Here's the thing. Eggs. No matter what, it's now a safe temperature to eat. Now, I'm not as worried about little pieces falling whoop, through it. You got, okay, right there. Because that membrane is just so thick. Oh no. Okay, you've cracked all the way down here and around. Well. Okay, that, okay, 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 okay. Sure. That same membrane might be like gripping. It is. The yolk and the. <coughs> that does not look very cooked. That was overnight at the temperature that okay. would soft boil a chicken egg. However, touch the egg yolk. Oh, the yolk seems cooked. The yolk is cooked. In a chicken egg, this would leave the white cooked. Wait. And the yolk not. Hang on, hang on. But the There's yolk some seems of it. cooked at this point. Mmm, yum. Okay, but it's still tasty. It is at a safe temperature that now I can eat it safely. Yes, some people will eat raw egg. I didn't want to really risk that with the ostrich egg. I don't know what the differences are and, you know, safety hazards, but let's just try and get the yolk. Well, okay, that's a cooked part of the white. There is some that's cooked, yes. Okay, let's was... go ahead and pour out the porridge. Yeah, there you go. An ostrich egg. Look yolk. at how cool it much, looks! Much, much larger than an entire chicken egg or five. Um, but that's interesting Can that I, they. Yeah, you. I want to poke a hole in it. Oh, it's like clay. You just took a scoop out of it. I listen. Like no, but just like you can take a scoop. That is such a it's strange. It's malleable. Texture. What? How is that? That seemed like a lot. Does it need salt? <gasps> Okay. Does it need salt and less egg? Oh, oh my, okay, nope. Nope. <laughs> no. You have to understand. You missed! I did. More? No. Nope. More? Oh my. Do you see? Do you understand? Okay, last time we did this, again, with the egg in a basket, toad in the hole, whatever you want to call it, I took a bite out of the egg yolk on its own and I was just like, oh no, that wasn't good. I thought it was because we overcooked it. When you overcook an egg yolk, you get this weird rubbery consistency. Doesn't taste the same. No, no, ostrich egg yolk on its own is just not something. Doesn't taste I, like egg. It's not meant to be consumed, I don't think, on its own. Take a little bite with some egg right there. It's good. It's a uh, possibly because of its undercooked nature. It's just like a really, really light texture. Like you can kind of see that the knife will just sort of like pass right through it. It really is closer to Jello than boiled egg. But it's so strange that the egg yolk cooked so much more than it. So wh what that makes me think is the fats that uh, make up the egg yolk in an ostrich egg are different than what it is in a chicken egg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Yeah, good. good egg. This is good. This yep. is not. This is repulsive, honestly. What we've learned, ostrich egg white, delicious. Amazing. It, it actually tastes like whole chicken egg, but with a buttery flavor to mm -hmm. it. Super good, very enjoyable. Uh, ostrich egg yolk, <laughs> not good. It was fine when it was all mixed together. Mm -hmm. Whatever that bad taste is we're getting, mm -hmm. we weren't getting at least not much. I honestly thought it was a one-off when I tried it before, so. So surprising about the texture differences. Oh my gosh. This, the fact that the outside this is so much of it is so uncooked still. Inside yeah, it's did, liquid. Like, it was the opposite of what you want for dipping toast. And it's also weird that like some of it cooked. Like it, mm -hmm. it should all be an exact uniform yeah. temperature, but still only parts of it cooked and parts of it did not. Well, and some parts are clear. Look at that. Yeah. It could just be that the white of an ostrich egg has like more distinctive layers mm -hmm. or parts to it than chicken eggs do. Uh, onions have layers. 
Oh, you both have layers. Guys, that's it for today, but we've always got new great stuff for you to see. Click on that box to check out one of our other great videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.